G'day guys, it's Captain Carter and welcome back to Cold Waters. I do apologise for no video on Monday. I was away over the weekend from Friday all the way through to Sunday. And if I'm to be overly honest, by the time I got back on Sunday, I was shattered. And I was in no fit state to record a video. So I do apologise, but we are, we are carrying on with our regular programming. And... As we can see, we've got a we got ourselves a report in. Uh, we are we need to go kill some Spetsnaz commandos, which are landing in the vicinity of Torshaven, Torshaven in the Faroe Islands. Um, now we were in Holy Lock as we went and reloaded, and okay, that's the reason why we were in Holy Lock because I did need to reload. Okay, we're just gonna do 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 do. Yes, yes, we did that last time. Okay, rearm and repair. I've got three torpedoes. I want a fourth and I want to load that tube. Uh, got three UGMs. Let's go up to ten. And we'll load a buck ton of torpedoes. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 torpedoes and ten. Yes, yes that'll do. For, oh crap, I haven't got a. Kick two of them out, 14 torpedoes should be fine. Give me two mosses. Yep, yep, that'll do me. Uh, cast off and gets away. Okay, Torshaven, 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 Torshaven. Uh, where am I? Where am I, Torshaven? Where are you? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, Denmark's been overcome. That's not good. Uh, where is that Torshaven? Spitzburg, Faroe Islands. Where the hell am I? This has got to be it. This has got to be them. Wait, 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 get back here. Get back. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, we have a new sound of bearing. 002, doesn't it? 01. We are 600 feet. Righto. First things first. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's see if we can get a bearing. Okay. Uh, so now give me a sounding. 1900 feet. Okay, so we're in deep, deep water. Where's my contact? 88 decibels outside, which means it's quiet. Where is my contact? Con sonar new contact bearing zero Whoa. zero zero designated Sierra one. I hope he's not that close. I really hope he's not that close. Because theory would have it he could hear me by now. Whoop! It's a fox truck. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as submerged submarine. Yeah, but where is he? He's above me. Okay. Alrighty. Con, set new heading at zero. Uh, let's go zero eight five. Come right to zero eight five. Helm I. Now the reason why I'm turning is because my toad array, which is in use but not active, but not actually actively modelled in the game, um, works best when it's perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular to its target, so we need to side on to a target. Now you can see already I'm already up to 34%, but theory would have it, if I go side on, I should be able to get a much better reading on this guy. Okay. Dive, set your depth 350 feet. Make depth 350 feet, dive by. Forty percent. I need better than that before I take a snapshot because it reckons he's only ten thousand yards away. Now the Foxtrot's a diesel submarine. If I remember correctly, a Foxtrot is probably a late fifties or sixties vintage submarine. It's not exactly the smartest thing in the shed. So it's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, 
47 percent Con, sonar, new contact Whoa, hello. bearing. Zero, two, one. Designated Sierra, two. Okay, and Sierra, two is body wall cavitating, which means they've heard us. Well, what are you? You are some sort of escort, but what are you? Whoop. No, it's not a whiskey. It's close. You're a Victor 1. Con sonar, Sierra 2, is classified as submerged submarine. Okay, you're significantly more dangerous. What's my solution on the Foxtrot? Half decent. Where's the Sierra? Uh, where's, um, where's that Victor? Same depth. Okay, so we're on the same depth as both these guys now. Now, if Con, helm. Steady course. Righto, we are on our course of 085. Now, I am getting significantly good return on both these contacts. I have a better than 50% 50 50 solution on that Fox truck. To do what to do. 5 point procedures, tube 1, bearing 3, 5, 0, range to enable 6,000 yards, shoot tube Con, 1. dive at 3, 5, 0, feet, dive by. Right, now they're sure as hell going to hear that. And we have got better reading on the Victor 2, on the Victor 1, sorry. Uh, 5 point procedures, tube 2, bearing 0, 0, 0, range to enable 12,000 yards, shoot tube 2. Shoot tube 2, aye sir. And torpedo evasion. All head full. Make turns for. Set your two, depth to six zero zero, zero knots. knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing three four four. Contact and faded. Set your course zero three zero. Come left to zero three zero. Helm I. Now the reason we've done that is we've gone straight into torpedo into torpedo evasion, and the reason what we've, that we've done that is I don't know if they've launched torpedoes at me or not. I'm significantly hoping that they haven't, but I don't know that. I don't know that for sure. Con helm steady course. So we're just going to drop down by 250 feet. Now. That first torpedo shoot, oh no, we lost the wire on him, so that's fine. Gun fire control, we've lost the wire. Okay, we lost the wires on both torpedoes, so now they are on their own. Now, the reason I've done this... Con, dive at six, zero, zero feet, dive by. Yeah, thank you. Uh, all ahead flank. Make turns for three, three knots, maneuvering eye. As I was saying before everyone interrupted me. Um, the reason why I've done that is I don't know if they've launched torpedoes at me or not, and I can't tell if they have. Con, is... torpedo room, tube one ready. Thanks, mate. I don't know if they've launched anything at me, so I would rather get the hell away from where I fired those torpedoes at, because they would have gotten a pretty good return on that kind of crap, and put as much distance between me and that position as physically possible. If they fired a torpedo in that general direction, they will have more than likely have set to arm um, pretty much Con right sonar, to noise maker bearing three, three, three. All right, that was the noise maker from the Foxtrot. Con, so, torpedo room, two, two, ready. Which means that that torpedo is tracking and tracking well, which is exactly what I want it to do. Reacquired by the look of things. Con sonar, noise maker bearing three, two, nine. Okay, we got the Foxtrot. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one, bearing three, two, nine. The only reason we've done that, we've regained contact with him now, is because he is now making more noise than what I am. Right. Con maneuvering, making turns for three. Three knots. Yeah, and now I'm gonna really piss you off. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Slide us back down to five knots. And turn the ears on. So my first my first torpedo was on target. Perfectly. 
Where's the Victor? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 3, 5, 9. I'm going to wait for that to clear up because I reckon he's significantly closer than, he's significantly further away than that because we had a pretty good bearing on him okay I can now hear my torpedo again it is active see so yeah, and that's why I thought because there was no, well, there's no way he's over here, and there's definitely no way that he's all the way over there. That's showing you're nearly 40,000 yards, that's just ridiculous. Um, dive, set your depth 350 feet. Make depth 350 feet, dive by. Okay, where are you, buddy? Where are you? hell is he doing? He went all the way up to the surface and he's coming all the way back down again. He is coming back down and I'm coming up to meet him. But where is he? Because that torpedo hasn't found squat. Now this is the thing, you've just got to learn to be very, very patient. Because he could literally be anywhere. He's not 30,000 yards away, ha ha! There we go. Torpedoes acquired. We'll go, uh... That's the target. We're going to ride with the torpedo for a little bit. Now that is weapon homing. Because you can see here how it's diverted off course and now it's turning to follow. Because if I press F2, that gives me. Aha! There's our torpedo and this is the camera tracking that target. Which is very good news. Our torpedo is on a very good bearing. Now this guy is going deep. But why is he trying to go deep? Con, dive at three, five, zero feet, dive by. Uh, it's a Victor 1. Yeah, that's what I thought. Victor 1, a very, very early nuclear submarine, I believe. Um, that was the, uh, what was the other one that we destroyed? It was a Foxtrot. Uh, it's the Kilo, it's a Tango. Okay, yeah, that's the Foxtrot. Okay, so that's the diesel sub. This is the guy that would have had the special Con, on him. fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Okay, that's a knuckle, which means he is now at all ahead flank, and he is running like hell. I mean, he's capable of doing 32 knots. With the two, slightly bigger, weighs more, longer, more crew, nice no, that crew. Semi-quiet. With the three, very is quiet. This guy is semi noisy. Very quiet, semi noisy, very noisy, Kira. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing three, five, three. Okay, that was the noisemaker. Come on, torpedo. That's it. That's homing in. And. Come on. Get him. Get him. Aha, there he is. He's running. But he's going to have to run significantly faster than I The knuckle got him. The knuckle confused him. Come on, lock back on, lock back on, oh, okay, let's overshot it, that's alright, come on buddy, 
Hello, big boy. Come on. My torpedo just wants to say hi. Come on. He's being very clever. He's staying outside of the targeting cone of this torpedo. But the torpedo is designed to just go around in circles until it finds its target, which is right about now because you can tell it's going back up. So it's locked. Okay. I really wish I had the wire here because I'd be able to sort this guy out very quick smart with the wire. Okay, that was his knuckle. There he is again. Torpedo. Aha. He's gone now. Bing. And right about now. No, missed again. This Victor is doing a very impressive job of confounding this torpedo. He's going shallow again. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, four, six. Now that was a good sign, that means that, that meant it was active. That's the noisemaker and a knuckle. How confused is the torpedo? Not very, because it has now Relocked onto its target. Yes, there it goes. Sharp turn and straight back up again. This guy's going for the surface again. I've got no idea what he's doing. Come on. Hit him. Console got him. Contact. <laughs> CO2. Last bearing. Three, four, eight. Contact See breaking up. See you later, Ruski. Meanwhile, we just happily sit here. Where the hell was he? He was a long way off. Can't even see him. Booger thing is. That was exactly what we came for, was the Victor and the Foxtrot, which is excellent. And welcome. Um, right, oh, yeah, we've got some news. Red's sub sunk. Oh, I love a good bit of news like that. Oh, hello. Okay. We've got to insert a SEAL team. Ooh, this one's going to be tough. You know what, guys? I think... I think this is going to be a standalone episode on its own. Because this is going to take quite... This is going to be quite the challenge. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. It helps greatly. And remember, at 100 subs, we are going to do a giveaway. Also, check out some of the previous videos. Or if you've already watched them, you can hang on to this same Captain Carter time, same Captain Carter channel for the next episode of Cold Waters, which is going to be this wonderful mission right here. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys next time.